Okay, so I just landed in Brussels and I have to take a train to Leuven. So I'm about to go buy this ticket. I need to pick up So shout out to the airline for giving us a whole shoe, a whole box of Belgian chocolate. Y'all, I'm out here trying to get competition ready. I'm trying to get my life right, trying to cut out all the extras. Belgian chocolate stuff? A whole box? Like, what the hell? I'm gonna try my best to not eat these. There will be no guarantees made. I'm in Belgium, Belgian waffles, Belgian chocolates, like how, pray for me out. about what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So, hopefully I can get this figured out. So I'm at my agency's base in Leuven. Um, so I'm, I'm coming here before I go to the meet. Um, I guess the meet is only letting people in at a certain time, so it's nice if your agency has a base in Europe so you can kind of come if you don't have a place to stay in the meantime. So it's not the most glamorous by any means, but you know, we get the job done. So the theme for today most definitely was spend for yourself. <laughs> I've it's been interesting, but got to the little area where I'm staying and it just kind of hasn't been totally organized but I'm figuring it out I'm walking to the track um GPS and the cool thing who I don't even know where I'm at okay I'm back I thought I was lost for a second but I figured it out <laughs> um so at the track I'm about to get the shake out in real quick because I'm always telling y'all about doing some shake out the exact same way that I came here is the exact same way I had to go back I have a really horrible sense of direction so anyway Try and get fancy with it. I'll be lost in here forever. <laughs> Darling, you send me. So I found a Canadian. We're gonna go look for some food. So hopefully get some good. It's a quaint little quiet little town. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. I know. It's been pretty gloomy since I've been out here. I'm hoping the weather gets a little bit nicer once uh, it's race day. But hey, you gotta run in anything, right? Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Heading to Liage right now. I have a travel partner. Say hi, Jen. 
I'm the travel partner. <laughs> so if y'all ever are looking for a show to watch, movies, anything like that, this is the dude you don't ask. Or just do black. We'll be all right, man. He, he just trying to hop on. <laughs> what should wait? What show do you usually watch? What's the the go to? Uh, my go to. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Friends. Like in this day and age, all these good movies to watch. Show. Anyway, we ain't asking him for nothing. <laughs> Hopefully someone's here to pick us up. We've been having a little bit of a, a struggle, so we'll see. Jeff is banned from the vlog because he's making fun of me. I'm not I'm taking footage. I'm taking over the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> this is my vlog. No. Made it to the hotel in Liage, and this is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is them quintessential European beds. So my roommate gonna be super close to me. Hopefully, I don't have a roommate because y'all know I've been getting lucky. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm racing tomorrow. This is gonna be my first race at the nationals, so I'm excited to just get it in. Pretty crazy, but it is absolutely gorgeous out here. I don't really like the city. Good morning, it is race day, but I need y'all to see this weather. It's raining, it's raining, it's pouring. Ain't no, ain't nobody got time for that. Like, yesterday was gorgeous. That's how it always happens. It's gorgeous the day you get in, and then race day, it's like pouring rain. And that's what it talks about outdoor season. It's like you gotta battle the elements. And it looks like it's cold outside because I went, hold on. Y'all look at this. Oh, I wish y'all could see. Can y'all see that? How that little tree is like blowing? Lord. So, today's gonna have to be a dress warm, get your mind right kind of day. Because it doesn't matter. Everybody has the same conditions. Everybody has to battle the same elements. So, we just gotta get out there and do the damn thing. finish um it wasn't the best race um but getting my legs back under me my hurdle rhythm back so just trying to learn from what i did today and thankfully i have another race in houston in two days on the today's the 19th so the 21st so just gonna go out there make it better than this one um and really just trying to like get races Feel myself going over 10 hurdles again. Um, and you know, just really trying to work on the things that I want to execute. So not totally happy about how the race went, but definitely positives to take and things to learn from it. Good morning, we are heading to Houston today. Um, and it's like only like an hour oh, bus ride. So let the journey begin to Houston. Another hotel room, just living out of suitcases, hopping from hotel to hotel. But anyways, like I said, made it to Houston. It was really, really easy. Just taking the bus over was pretty quick. Um, and then racing in two days. Uh, so I'll just do a shakeout later on today and then uh, meet pre-meet tomorrow. And then, you yeah. know, y'all know how it goes. It's the same thing over and over again, pretty much. <laughs> Let me love you. 
just got to the track to do a shakeout. This isn't the actual track that we're going to be competing on, but sometimes they do that. Like there's just like a warm up our track closer that they'll use as a warm up track. So I'm um, gonna get this shake out in really quickly. It's a little bit chilly out here and windy, but we'll survive. It'll be all right. Um, shake out, trying to get a little bit of that from yesterday out of my legs, do some recovery work. So I forgot to say that my roommate showed up, the one and only Sage Watson. <laughs> so we're about to go, when you're in Belgium, you have to go and get chocolate. So we're gonna go explore some of these chocolate stores Ooh. and not eat it <laughs> until after. <laughs> We actually lied. Today is a Belgian national holiday. So sad. Everything is closed. The city is shut down. Sage looks slightly mad about the fact that she will not be getting any chocolate right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so far. The hats this girl's looking at. Look, grab my old hats. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We gonna get you this little gold one right here. Yeah. <laughs> because you say you're showing out. <laughs> right? They only have shuttles that take eight people at a time, and I guess everybody is trying to leave at the same time and everybody's coming in from the airport at the same time so there's a little bit of a shortage of cars trying to get to the track right now. So I've had Sage on for a little while but I haven't fully introduced her or let y'all speak to her. So Sage, event. 400 hurdles. Okay, runs for Canada, best country in the world. We don't need to dispute that. Don't <laughs> at me, don't say nothing. <laughs> Anyways, wait, let me open this up. Let's get some good light in here. Okay, I thought it'd be interesting to talk to Sage, because Sage just graduated. Mm -hmm. So this is not your first time overseas, because you competed right. in Rio. Right. But your first professional meets. Yes, yes, this is going to be my second professional meet. Okay, so tell me, how's it been so far? It's been good. Yeah? It's been fun. Yeah? yeah it's Everything you expected it to be, like, as a little different? Or? Um, I mean, the racing's the same, right. but traveling around's different, right. seeing different athletes from all over the world, that's fun and right. interesting. Right. It's been fun. That's good. That's cool. Okay, so we'll try and check in with her later on down the season. She's going to London, so y'all better look out Ooh. for her too. Okay, I didn't do a recap after my race, but I came forth yesterday. Some positives to take from it. I definitely feel like my start was way better. Um, I just need to put together the finish. So, but I'm really, really excited and really positive about the way I put together my first few hurdles. Um, and it's just going to be a building process. So, excited to kind of get that together, being a bit more confident about that. Um, and now I'm heading to training camp. So that was the end of my, you know, my meets. Oh, this lighting is horrible. The end of my meets. Um, and now. I mean, there's only one more big need to go, and that's World Championships. 